Hello and welcome to Edit With Ease. I'm Andrea and today I'm going to talk about how to remove those filler words from your content. I don't know about you, but they really bother me and I tend to say a lot of ums and ahs and so's and all those other filler words that just don't need to be in my content. So I have recorded this little paragraph here and I purposely put in a lot of ums and some you knows and other things like that so that we can practice getting rid of them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play the paragraph and then we'll practice getting rid of the filler words. Here it is. So this is my sample audio talking about my walking treadmill. I bought one so that I can get some exercise, um, um, you know, while I'm doing my work at my desk. And yeah, so uh, it's pretty easy to use. Um, I probably work out a few, a few days a week. And um, I generally just walk on it. Sometimes I kind of run on it, even though it's a walking treadmill. All right, so there you have it. All the ugliness and everything inside it. So let me show you what you can do to clean this up. So what you wanna do is go up here to the top left there is a magic wand and it's literally a picture of a wand or a magnifying glass right here. We're going to click that and then the box is asking you, what would you like to do? And so just come down here where it says remove filler words, click there and look. All of our filler words are highlighted within the content and there is a list over here on the right side of the filler words, okay? And so I'll just show you really quickly. We'll just click one of these and you'll see that it'll bring you straight to that filler word. So I'll click this one here. Yeah, you so uh, it's pretty easy. <laughs> and it'll play a little bit and then it stops. And then that way you can decide if you want to keep it or what you want to do with it. Exercise, um, um, you know, while I'm okay. And so I'm just going to click here. Yeah. So, uh, it's pretty. E okay. So I just wanted to show you that it, when you click over here on the right side, it will play some of the audio and it jumps right to that spot. Also, if you want to look up here at the top, it says that there are two of five filler words. So all together, there are five filler words. And if you click where it says all filler words, this is a toggle switch and it'll show you all of the filler words. So we've got two repeated words and two ums and one uh. Now I have all of these highlighted. So if there were any more in the document, it would have caught those. I have the pro version and there is a long list as you can see here, all of these words it will get rid of for you. So right now I have all of them selected, but if for some reason I wanted to keep my so in there, this one right here, the only one that I have, I can just click here and it won't take out that particular word, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and just take all of the things out right now. But I just wanted to show you that that's actually a toggle switch to click all the filler words and everything will go away. Now, here is another thing I'd like to explain. You can delete one word or delete all the words. So let me show you here. You can delete one word right here, or you can remove all the words. 
There are other options though. If you click here, you'll see that it will delete the word and replace it with a dead air gap, or you can ignore the words that are highlighted, or you can remove them from the transcript. So in that case, if you ignore the word, it will still be on your transcript so that you can see it, but there will be a strike through on the word and it won't be voiced in the audio. And that is because sometimes you might not be sure if you want to leave in that particular filler word or not. So in that case, you can just choose to ignore it and then you can come back and listen to it later and see if you want to keep it in your script or not. And then here you can remove the word from the transcript, this one here. So we're just going to delete all of them. I'm going to click here to remove them all. It's all gone in just one click. <laughs> I love it. Before I got to script, I spent hours listening to my audio, double backing and taking out the souls or looking for all of them. And it just took a lot of time. This is such a time saver. Let's go ahead and listen to our cleaned up transcript. So this is my sample audio talking about my walking treadmill. I bought one so that I can get some exercise while I'm doing my work at my desk. And yeah, it's pretty easy to use. I probably work out a few a few days a week and I generally just walk on it. Sometimes I run on it, even though it's a walking treadmill. So there you have it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I just love that. So here I just noticed that there is this big word gap right here between treadmill and I bought. So I'm just going to clean that part up. I'm going to click on here, the eye, and I'm just going to drag it over here to closer to treadmill, as you can see here. That looks pretty good. So I am going to have another video where I show you more in depth on how you can save a lot of time with removing all the word gaps. But I just noticed that there is just one here. So I wanted to clean up that word gap. Let's go ahead and play it and see how it sounds. I'm just going to start here. My walking treadmill, I bought one so that I can get some. So do you see how it's more condensed and there's not such a large word gap? So as you can see, that is much better. <laughs> well, if you got some value out of this video, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to be doing a lot more of these Descript videos. And so if you would like to be notified when one comes out, I suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video too. I would love to see you again. So until the next video, bye-bye.